complete it. Okay, now let, let me go to the next numerical. Now array is incident. <coughs> this is the incident ray. I and this is the reflected ray. We know angle of incidence should be called angle of reflection. Let, let me directly take some values. Huh? It'll be easy for us. And this is a normal. Agree this. Now I'm going to keep the as it is. So I'll, I'll let me rotate the mirror by four degrees. There's a mirror, it is being rotated now. So if I rotate the mirror by four degrees <coughs> by keeping incident ray the fixed ear, how much the reflected ray will rotate? That this was the question. Means when a mirror rotates to an angle theta, how much the reflected ray will rotate? So earlier, this was the normal. Now when I rotate this mirror by four degrees, what will happen to the normal? The normal will take the new, new, new it will be the, there'll be a new normal. So all the the initial one I'll show by solid. Oh, this line I'm unable to. Okay, fine. Yeah, it is covered. So this is a normal. Now after reflection, so what should happen to the normal? Normal normal should also rotate. If the mirror rotates by four degrees, the normal should also rotate by four degrees. So the new normal will be somewhere here. It should rotate by the four degree. This is a new normal. If the mirror rotates, total angle it is. If the mirror rotates by four degrees, the normal should also rotate by four degrees. Okay, now what is the new angle of incidence? The new angle of incidence is 34 degrees. The new angle of incidence is 34 degrees. So what is the angle of incidence now? The incident is fixed here. I'm not going to do anything with the... This is a reflected ray. I'm not going to do anything with the incident ray. Incident ray. So what is the new angle of incidence? It will be 34 degrees. So what should be the new... Uh, like a angle of reflection should be 34 degrees. So now where the reflected ray will be? the reflected ray will be here. So this is what? So I should make 34 degrees from this one. So what is this angle? This angle will be 26 degrees. So I should add up another eight degrees for this. Okay, I have a arrow here. Let, let me take that arrow and I'll, I'll let me explain. So earlier the incident ray, the ray for, for, for the, the incident ray, this will be reflected ray. As the mirror rotates, the reflected ray, what happened will rotate by how much? Eight degrees. The reflected ray, in fact, will rotate by eight degrees. Green the idea? This will be. So now, now what, what are the normal? You know, we'll take, we'll, I'll show the normal. So when the mirror rotates by four degrees, the normal should also rotate by four degrees. Getting the idea? So now what is the uh, angle of incidence now? Will be 30, this 30 plus four, total will be how much? 34. So no angle of incidence should be called angle of incidence should be called angle of reflection. So the new <coughs> angle of reflection should be 34 degrees. Fine. 
very simple nothing to do if the mirror is rotated so how much here the mirror rotates by an angle 4 degree clockwise the reflected ray rotates by an angle 8 degree clockwise so therefore what is the condition uh, when a mirror rotates by 4 degrees when a mirror rotates by an angle theta the reflected ray will rotate through an angle 2 theta that, that's what i mean to say here that i took in the, with the help of numericals uh, with the, some values numerical values what happen i am able to show that very easily let's take another situation this incident ray this is a reflected ray so in this case the incident ray will rotate by 5 degrees the angle of incidence let it be 40 degrees then what will be the angle of reflection will be 40 degrees and this is normal then i'll rotate the mirror by 8 degrees how much the reflected ray will rotate what is our question incident ray rotates by angle how much 5 degrees similarly <coughs> mirror how much it will rotate let me adjust all these things yeah uh, this is incident ray then the mirror rotates by an angle how much reflected ray will rotate this what incident ray yeah? it should be ray no no the incident ray i'll rotate by 5 degree clockwise and the mirror i'll rotate 8 degree clockwise then how much the reflected ray will rotate so initially uh, this was the normal so what is the angle made by the incident ray angle made by the incident ray with the normal it was equal to 40 degrees angle of incidence should be called angle of reflection uh, how to manage this one now how to get the at least can we draw any diagrams yes, you you can draw the diagram here only we will take one corresponding diagram showing that the okay this for the initial position of the mirror this for the initial normal also get in this one okay now the mirror will rotate so now th th the new position so earlier this was the normal it was a reference line okay the normal was so the new normal should also rotate by 8 degrees and i'll explain clearly you need not to bother just make observation uh, the incident ray earlier it was making angle 45 40 degree with normal now it should make 35 degrees with the vertical line why why it should be 35 degrees is yes, anybody why that why see uh, the, this was the normal no the mirror was horizontal and the normal was along perpendicular to around vertical 
direction or it is along y axis so what is the angle between incident ray and the normal it was 40 degrees now when incident ray if i rotate by 5 degrees then what can be this angle now it will become 35 degrees this what uh, no no what is the angle <coughs> angle of incidence 43 degrees so what should happen to the reflected ray should make an angle 43 degrees with the the new normal okay this angle is what will indicate by two arrows is the reflected ray this is the incident this is the normal so earlier what was the angle uh, the reflected ray was the oh oh yeah yeah I'll, I'll, i'll make change what was the angle that reflected was making with normal 40 degrees so now how much it is 43 plus 8 51 degrees it is making so how much in fact the reflected ray got rotated by 11 degrees fine so what is the can we bring any generalized formula s yes. the angle deviated by by the reflected ray should be equal to the angle deviated by the mirror two times of that minus the incident substitute all them with sign so what is delta r the angle through which the reflected ray rotated is equal to two times the angle through which the mirror rotated minus the angle through which incident ray is rotated so th this is actually the thing let, let me write the explanation then i'll come to formula the angle rotated by reflected ray is equal to two times of minus of angle rotated by incident ray <coughs> so now let's let's apply all that i think we we, we know 11 degrees so okay i'll see that through formula i'm going to bring the answer now so how much the mirror was rotated the mirror was rotated by 8 degrees clockwise the incident ray was rotated by 2 both are clockwise so you are going to add so 16 minus 16 degrees minus 5 degrees justified So what is this 11 degrees clockwise? The angle through which the reflected ray gets rotated. Even the mirror, mirror also will be rotated. Huh? You have to be careful. Let, let, let me take one more problem related to this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let me bring it. Some better software needed, huh? especially for teaching, huh? because the existing. We we need some very versatile one. which will really helps us a lot the way i am struggling no it's like a not only a just on teaching i have to keep on high on so many things here it's not like something very happily i am teaching with lot of constraints are there this one because i should be uh, bother about the electric power first then then next again the uh, 
the distal pen what i'm using i should hold it in proper way at certain angles what happen the distal pen will not respond and the screen what happen which or button i cannot press sometimes if i press it no suddenly the recording will stop or say like the screen what happens share will get off so so many not only just teaching here i should Uh, look at even the other things. A lot, lot of uh, you can say a pressure is there for me to deliver a good lecture. I am trying my level best. Okay, now the same condition. Okay, this is the incident ray. This is reflected ray. So what I do is like I'll I'll rotate this in opposite sense. and the and the mirror mirror will be given 8 degrees so this is the reflected ray and this is the normal i'm just asking what will be the deviation so i count to the formula 2 delta m minus delta l let's substitute all with sign the mirror rotated clockwise so 8 degrees clockwise What about incident ray? It is given five degrees anti-clockwise. What to do now? Counterclockwise. So look at the mirror. Mirror was rotated clockwise. What about the incident ray? Counterclockwise. It is in counterclockwise. If you take this as positive, then this should be negative. Okay. The further simplification of this. And this will be sixteen degrees clockwise. If this is positive, this will be negative. No, so total it will become plus minus of minus five degrees. So twenty-one degrees it will be. What do you mean by twenty-one degrees positive? Will be clockwise, so the reflected ray will rotate to an angle of much twenty-one degrees clockwise. Even both mirror and as well as incident ray can rotate in same sense or in opposite sense. If I take clockwise positive, then counterclockwise should be negative. That's why the negative sign is introduced here. The last year, year, I think you should really bother about this. So from where the negative sign has come? For clockwise, we took positive. 